Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for hanging in there. If you're new to my channel, my name is Ashley. I am a mom of two and I am here to share you my pregnancy test results. So I have filmed two or three, can't remember now. I'll show you the clips. And um, I wanted to share with you kind of the backstory um, to them as well. So take a look at the videos and um, I'll meet you on the other side. I am pregnant with baby number three and I can't believe it I am I didn't think it was gonna happen for the longest time for like over the last two years I was trying to convince myself that maybe two was what I was meant to have um, but you know a lot of things changed in the last couple months and I could not shake the feeling off from having more kids so here are the details of kind of what you saw and what I've been through my TTC journey. So, on Halloween, um, we had a night, <laughs> and the following day, uh, November 1st, I got a positive OPK, and on uh, November 2nd, I had a negative OPK. So that means on the Monday or Tuesday, because Halloween was on a Sunday, Monday or Tuesday I ovulated and I actually didn't expect to ovulate then because I thought I had missed it earlier on in the cycle. I ovulated late and um, I just checked uh, with the OPK test just because um, it happened on the Sunday and I was like well let me just double check and sure enough I ovulated. So on um, on that Friday so pretty close like 5 DPO or 4 DPO depending on when exactly I ovulated I had a heightened sense of smell right away um, so I knew I'm like something is up 
um, early this Saturday morning, so 6 DPO, um, I woke up in the middle of the night to pee and I never wake up to pee, so that was interesting. Um, I sneezed and I had round ligament sharp pain which only ever happens when I'm pregnant and I thought that was really weird because it was so early on um, so I was thinking hmm hmm strange um, <laughs> so the by about like 10 a.m. that day so like around noonish um, I started noticing swelling in my um, pelvic area and that has been my early pregnancy symptom for both my first and my second so I had a very strong feeling I was pregnant and on the Monday which is 7 DPO I bent over weird and I got like a pain in that area where if you've been pregnant before you know round, lig round ligament pain is like a real thing <laughs> and I, I felt that and I was like okay hey, that was strange um I noticed also that my skin cleared up over the week and um, that on the Tuesday and Wednesday, so like 8, 9 DPO, I started to get uh, sore breasts. And on that day, on the 9th, I tested and I got the negative pregnancy test. And on the next day, I, on the 11th, November 11th, I got a faint positive on the OPK. So I know that hormones um, the HCG hormone can be picked up on an OPK um, when it's like really early on so I was discouraged by this by not seeing anything on there um, and then I tested with the first response and I got a no um, the following day um, oh sorry that day I did have like more round ligament pain and like lightning kind of pain um, that week which again only happens when I'm pregnant so I tested on the Friday which was like 9 10 DPO um, and I got a light sorry I messed that up on the 11th so the day before I did get a faint positive on the OPK not the day before I had a negative but on this day on the Thursday I had a faint LH but the OPK, um, sorry, the LH strip picked up the faint, but the HCG picked up nothing. The following day, um, I tested with the first response again, and I got my positive. And um, the HCG and the LH strip were both pretty bright. Um, and I'll insert pictures here. And I had mild bloating and like a cramping, expanding feeling on my uterus. So um, that's kind of like how the first two weeks went <laughs> and like the two week wait. So I'm so ecstatic. Um, like I said, I didn't think it was going to happen. So the fact that it finally did and, you know, I, I think about like the timing of it. It's going to be September. Uh, sorry a summer July end of July baby slash maybe early August because I always have my babies late like six days late so um yeah I'm pregnant thank you so much for watching um and I'm going to film right after this my first trimester recap because I am actually 14 weeks or 13 weeks on Monday I can't remember. I'm really behind, but thanks for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.